Hello students! For our music today, we're going to be making instruments out of things that you just have lying around at home. So I've made some instruments and I'll show you those and then I'm going to show you how to make them. So if you want to gather all the materials that I'm about to tell you about, put them on a table and get ready to make some, go ahead, you can pause the video, take some time to do that. The first one we're going to make is the cardboard castanets. So we're going to make three percussion instruments. Remember, percussion instruments are instruments that you, you hit, you hit together to make music. So our cardboard castanets. Mm -hmm. Take a look. Nice and simple. That will be what we make first. Second. We're going to make the always famous egg shaker, homemade egg shaker. Okay. Egg shaker. <laughs> and then, third, we're going to make a string instrument. Okay? Any other string instrument, you can use it as a shaker too. Okay. And then last, our pitched percussion. So pitched percussion means that you still hit it to play music, but you have different notes. So this is our glass orchestra pitch percussion. Cool. So this is what you're going to need to make these instruments. Make four instruments today. For the first one, our cardboard castanets. You can grab some bottle caps of these are from my favorite malt drink that I get in Trinidad and Ghana when I go there sometimes. Vita Malt. Very nice. Um, so, you can get bottle caps. Um, the last one I made was out of Haritos bottle caps. Wherever you find bottle caps lying around. Or if you just have something metal, maybe it's just, uh, you could glue a couple coins together. Um, you need bottle caps. And cardboard. So I've cut this cardboard out before. Just got a box, cut it out, and now I have this strip, right? If you need, you know, get somebody who's older to use scissors and cut out this piece of cardboard. Doesn't have to be very long. Mine's about the size of my hand, okay? And it's about three fingers thick. All right, so something that size. It doesn't really matter. It has to be bigger than your bottle cap but not too big that you can't hold it in your hand. All right, so there we go. We're gonna make that first because we're gonna also use glue, some normal Elmer's glue to glue those two together and we need some time for that glue to set. After that, we're going to use, I've used a toilet paper roll. Um, you don't have to use a toilet paper roll the I mean, t paper towel roll you can use, you can use a bag, anything that will be able to hold what we're going to put in our shaker. So this right here is just rice that I've put in a cup. So I'm going to use this toilet paper roll and the rice for my egg shaker. And maybe the glue too. And third, for our string instrument, Tupperware. Uh, any container with an open top will do. And then we have rubber bands. So rubber bands, you know, grab five or six or seven, however many rubber bands you want, and a Tupperware, okay? Then for our pitch percussion, you're gonna need cups, maybe of different sizes, okay? And water. So because we're, I'm gonna be pouring water, I also got a funnel, 
and I got a water bottle because that makes it easier to pour. And just in case I spill, I also have a towel. Okay, so grab those things, cups, water bottle, funnel if you have one, some cardboard, uh, some, some metal for the castanets, maybe bottle tops, maybe coins, a tube or a bag that you can fold, rice, Tupperware, rubber bands. Okay, good. Here we go. Four, our cardboard castanets. Remember, need two bottle caps, cardboard, glue. Um, oh, and also maybe like a book or something. Something kind, not too heavy, but that can keep the bottle caps in place. And I'll, I'll show you. Okay. So, first step is to take one of the bottle caps, take your glue, and pour the glue around the rim. So you gotta be very careful. Try not to get glue everywhere. Just on the rim. Okay. This is the bottom side of the bottle cap. Put glue all the way around. I'm gonna take that and stick it on one end of the cardboard. Right? I'm gonna hold it there for, let's say, like eight seconds. One one thousand, two one thousand, three one thousand, four one thousand, five one thousand, six one thousand, seven one thousand, eight one thousand. All right? Make sure it stays there. Oops, oh, maybe that wasn't long enough. Maybe hold it for 10, 1,000. Okay. Make sure it stays in place. And then we're going to get the other one, the other bottle cap. Right. Same thing. Put glue all around the edge. Be very careful. Try not to get glue all over the place. Maybe if you need, you can add some glue to the space where you're going to put it on the cardboard. And now I'm going to put this bottle cap on the other side of the cardboard. And I'm going to hold it again. 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 4, 1,000, 5, 1,000, 6, 1,000, 7, 1,000, 8, 1,000, 9, 1,000, 10,000. Make sure when I move my hand, it doesn't move. All right. So that's almost done. Now I'm going to take, I'm just taking a book and I'll put it on top so that I don't have to hold it there anymore. But the weight of the book will make sure that when the glue is done drying, that it'll, the bottle caps will stick. Okay. So take that carefully, move it off to the side so I can show you. The next instrument we'll be building, Oops. which is our egg shaker. Okay. So for the egg shaker, I'm using a just a toilet paper roll tube and some rice. Okay. If you have something else, you have a piece of cloth that you can tie up. Um, you have a bag that you can use. You can put the rice in that as well. All right? So because this tube has two holes, I have to close one of them first. I'm going to just pinch this flat. All right? uh, if you want to, you could probably put some glue in here as well. Help it stay flat since we have it around, pinch it flat. And then I'm going to okay, pinch flat. I'm going to fold it over in one direction and then crease it really hard, really, really, really hard. Because we don't want rice flying out of this end. 
Um, you don't have to do this, but if you have a stapler or something, you can take that stapler and staple this shut. Okay. All right, I think that's pretty good. Now, on the open end, I'm going to fill it with just some rice. It doesn't even have to be much. So I'm gonna take my plastic spoon here, dip it in the rice, add it in. You know, one spoonful could be enough. Maybe you want two. Don't fill it up too much though, so that the rice has place to shake. All right, I'm gonna do two spoonfuls. I think that's enough. Now, I'm gonna close the other side. So take the same thing, squish. Get it nice and flat. And uh, fold the same direction. So we're folding it in. Oops. So folding, 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 folding. Like that. And I increase again. So now, the rice is inside of our tube, and our tube is somewhat shut. If you want to remember which side you close first, maybe you can mark it with a pen. So you can, I know, maybe make a little X on this side. Or you can decorate your shaker however you want to. So I've marked which side I, I glued close. So that side's gonna stay closed better. And I'm gonna hold it on the other side when I shake. All right, that's our egg shaker. Okay. I'm gonna put this over here where my castanet is still drying. Third instrument, our string instrument. So. Tupperware or any container with an open one side open and we have rubber bands of different sizes and different thicknesses so you can try out different rubber bands and see what kind of pitches you get on the one I've already made you can hear three different notes So the size of the rubber band and how thick it is and how much it's stretched are going to give you different notes. So let's see what notes I can get on the one that we're about to make. Take a Tupperware, rubber band, stretch it around. All right. All right, so we have a nice low note there. Let's take a different rubber band, so this one's a little bit less stretchy, so I have to pull it tighter, but it's also thicker. Alright, so it's tighter, so it makes a higher noise. Let's see what the next one I put on is. This one's super tight, it's a lot harder to pull this one. So because it's tighter, I think it's going to make an even higher noise. Right? So we have low. Boom, boom, boom. Higher. Boom, boom, boom. And the highest. You can put on as many rubber bands as you want. Try them all. See how many different notes you can get out of your rubber bands. Now I have five on. So it's harder to get the right pitches to give you the notes that we want to play in a song, but it can still be fun to figure out which rubber bands make which sounds, okay? So three down, one more to go.